Hello everyone, this is a Ford 4.0-liter 6-cylinder uh, V6 engine uh, that includes a balancer shaft which has to be timed correctly to the crankshaft uh, in order to reduce the harmonic resonance of odd firing cylinders. Uh, to, the proper procedure to set this is to make sure that these two timing marks are pointing to the crank side of of the engine and that they are parallel with each other uh, with the horizontal as you can see here these two timing marks or ticks are centered or the hole is centered between the two timing ticks of the balancer shaft uh, sprocket and that the balancer shaft itself the drilled hole is exactly part uh, ha well approximately it should be pretty exact to the part line of the balancer shaft cap to the balancer shaft housing. Uh, little note on that, this uh, balancer shaft uh, sprocket actually transitions through by shaft to helico cut gears on the reverse side of the housing. So that if for whatever reason, if you're installing a new balancer shaft or if you removed your old one, uh, that is the exact timing marks that you would want to to target or aim for on the reverse side to make sure that your balancer shaft uh, sprocket is correctly meshed to the balancer shaft uh, helico gears on the reverse side. So as you can see here, and a little note about that. Uh, the rotations to bring it into line again, it won't happen in a single rotation. The gear ratios of the helico gears on the reverse side are cut in such a manner that uh, rotating them through once will change their offset angle. It's kind of like a planetary uh, uh, orbits around the sun that uh, an eclipse or a lunar eclipse does not happen until a certain number of revolutions through of both uh, celestial bodies. For instance, if I start rotating this through, the first rotation puts that top balancer shaft off. So you have to go another rotation, and it's actually a total of six. Right now we're on two, three, four, five, six, until their orbits align again. I use orbits simply as an analogy, not to suggest that they are orbits. Of course, the gears are meshed on the reverse side and that there are rotations to a certain gear ratio that the engineers designed at Ford. Uh, so that's how you know that your balancer shaft uh, meshes correctly with the correct timing of the uh, balancer sprocket. Um, so the actual procedure to set the, the timing in relation to the crankshaft now is to ensure that the number one piston is at top dead center. And we can do that by rotating the crankshaft through until we just begin to see the number one piston crest the top of the block. But now we've seen it uh, reset, recede back into the bore. So we've gone too far. We're just going to back that up a little bit until it's back and then we're going to follow through the rotation until we feel that we've traveled its maximum point and we reach top dead center and this just requires some finesse you don't want to put it too far I'd say that's probably sufficient and we know that is approximate when that keyway which is not the case right now I'm going to move the chain when that keyway is in line with that oil check valve ball on the oil passage of the engine block but it is not I'm just going to maneuver it just a little that's probably it yeah and we can see that that keyway is approximately parallel and in line with that ball check valve of the engine blocks oil passage uh, so number one piston at top dead center and Balancer shaft and balancer shaft sprocket, timing marks pointing towards the crankshaft and parallel with the horizontal. 
and we have our timing. So we would actually proceed through by using a four millimeter pen, seeing the further rotation of the balancer shaft, and we would use a uh, the actual bolt. This is, I believe, is a torque to yield bolt. Um, the specification on it, and it's important that you replace this with a new one because it is a torque to yield. If you reuse the old one, you may have some problems on your hand as the bolt head may shear from the body of the bolt, and you will have a very, very terrible nightmare to deal with as you're going to have to figure out either a replacement part for the entire bevel cut gear and shaft or drilling out the broken bolt inside the bore of that shaft. Uh, my recommendation, because it is keyed, is perhaps to go 11 foot-pounds plus 20 degrees if you will have to reuse the old one, but be sure to use Loctite so it can't back out. Uh, once that's done, with the chain in place, of course, And that's how you set the balancer shaft timing on a Ford 4 liter V6.